Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you how to solve the edges of the 6x6 six six Rubik's Cube. Okay, so over for, over here, why we are doing the edges and just the edges? Well, it's because for solving any like bigger cube than the 3x3, three three, you have to first convert it into a 3x3. Three three. So over here, what we're gonna do is create an edge and the edge contains of one, two, three, and four pieces, these four. Now, over here, I'm gonna take this example because these two are joined. So this is white and red, white and red. So the next white and red piece is here, white and red, and another one is here, red and white. So now, over here, what we have to do is we have to arrange it in a way that when we do like this kind of move, they match up. So we are gonna take this piece and let's just try to put it up. You can see it does not work because it gets opposite. And why is that? Because if you look below, these two colors, this one and this one, are both the same. So we need to get over here red and over here white. So to do that, you're first gonna take this piece and put it out, like over there. And then we're gonna turn this piece, so I'm gonna move, and then this piece back up. Now over here you can see that this has come over here and this white and red piece is totally opposite to these two. Over here you can see this white over here, there's red. So now I'm going to be taking this piece up and you can see it creates an edge. Well not a full edge because we have to put the next piece in here. So now what we have to do is we have to clear this so that when we bring it back down it's still going to be an edge. So for that you're going to have to turn your cube like this. And then we're gonna have to take these three pieces and then put it up. Now doing that messes this up, so take another free pair. So you can see that this edge is not built at all. So we're just gonna like put it down over there, get it down. This was basically like the bait. And then we put it back down. Now you can see over here, I have three white and red pieces and the next white and red pieces die right here. So I'm gonna put this in, well, in the same like face. And you can see it's already opposite. So then I'm gonna take taking this piece and I will be putting it up, which creates a full edge. Then I'll be putting it up, away, below, which creates another whole mess. Now I'm just gonna put it back down and over here you can see that I have a full edge. Now we just have to be gonna do that for the rest of the pieces. Here, using the same method, you're gonna have to do all of these other edges. Now, over here, I've got you to this case because the only most problematic part in doing the edges of the 6x6 six six is, well, these three last edges. Now, four last edges, you can easily do it because you have these. Now, the third one also, you can do it, but it can be a bit confusing. So, let's quickly do the third one. So, over here, I can see that most of them are over here. Now you might say, how are most of them here? Over here, you can see I have a blue and yellow and blue, blue and yellow. But these are a bit weird and like not oriented properly. Now over here also I have a blue and yellow. And I'm gonna be putting it in a way that this directly comes above this one because I'm gonna be switching it out. So I'm gonna be doing that. Yeah, and now I'm gonna be putting it down and then gonna be using this extra edge. Yeah, over here it creates these three. Now, I know I first started with the yellow and blue, but over here, blue and white just have a three here. So, I'm gonna be just solving the blue and white first. So, the last piece of the edge, I'm gonna put it down, I'm gonna see E which either this face or this face has like the spare one then putting it up on the spare one boom down and over here now over here are the last two edges and well here's where like things get like a bit interesting so i'm gonna be telling you what to do so for the last two over here my case is well um uh, three of them are solved and then just one of them is removed. So I have to get this piece over here safely without like and I have to solve this. 
or else I'll get a parody, which I will show you later. So right now, what we have to do is we have to do this algorithm, which basically what it does is, well, let me just tell you what we're supposed to do now. So there's this piece and then there's this piece. Over here, you can see that this piece isn't oriented properly, but when you take this piece up, it is properly oriented. So now we have to do this algorithm, which is basically taking this piece over here, flipping the whole edge and then getting this piece over here without messing any of the centers and the other well, edges. So now what we have to do, mine is already in position. I don't know if it's supposed, I don't know it is. So then now we're going to take this piece and then what we're going to do as well, we are going to do this algorithm. Um, this case also just before the algorithm this is totally depending on which layer you have it on for me I have it on well the D third So I'll be taking this piece. I'm gonna be holding it like this Taking this piece over here, which is well 3d then R F prime U R prime F and then the layer you took over here back. Now you see what it does over here, it took this piece from here, switched it and changed it back. So over here, all my edges are solved. And well, if you had any other cases that you guys have, like, have got, you can tell me in the comment section below. And well, that's it for today's video. Thanks and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.